Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our Julii Let's Play in Rome Total War, where last time we marched on Hatra, took Hatra, and now we are standing strong on this defensive position on this bridge here. Looks like Armenia wants to come and play at some point. I don't really want to have to deal with that. We do have this general here, who I kind of want to move out. But I guess we'll get a Roman cavalry, a couple of Roman cavalry, just in case. Uh, now, we need to take Tarsus. I think we'll wait a turn on Tarsus just to see whether they'll come and attack us. If not, we'll attack them next turn. We're waiting for Egypt to attack us here. I think we just need to get a bit more aggressive over here. Um, we're going to attack these guys this turn because we need to get rid of them. Um, because a lot of Egyptian armies seem to be moving around here. Where did my spy go? Okay, spy's going there. Let's go back over here. We know there's not many people in Thebes. Uh, Memphis? What's in Memphis? They've got a lot of archers. That's annoying. And phalanx units, but we'll be able to deal with it. Once we have these three um, cities, we'll probably be able to recruit a whole army from here. Of, uh, of the new Mariam units. Now, over here, we're also recruiting an army. Um, and just between uh, sessions, I have gone to Greece and started recruiting another navy. Because we need another navy. We've only got two, really. We've got this one over in Alexandria, and we've got this one over here waiting to pick up this army. Now, we really need to think about where we want to send this army, to be honest. Because we might not want to send it east, honestly. We already have three armies over there, so we don't really need it. We could just send it straight north, up to here, then into Bret um, into the Bretons. I think that's probably what we want to do with it. I know it's not as rich land, but we'll be recruiting an army from over here anyway, and it'll just be so much quicker. So this navy, honestly, can probably come to Carthage, where it will actually be useful at some point. Because um, we're going to send an army from here down to take this and this and then we'll send the navy across this way to ferry them across into Iberia uh, once we've used Herios Victor's army there. The Herios Victor might clean that up honestly it's it's at the point now where we might be cleaning up places before we can even get our Marian armies there but I mean we can try. So let's attack this army at Alexandria. Should, should be alright, honestly. Oh, jeez, look at those chariots, though. How long have they been sieging this down? I think one turn. Have they got siege equipment yet? Because I would be happy to wait until they have siege equipment. Which might be next turn. I said we need to get more aggressive, but... I, just, I don't want to have to deal with those chariots in the open field when we can deal with them in the city well, it would be a lot easier to deal with. The rest of the army is trash, though. But the chariots can easily create like a mass rout among your troops, so hmm, and I don't I've got a lot of cavalry in this army. Which would be better in the open field, so yeah. Let's go for the attack. And we're just gonna have to deal with those chariots somehow. Probably with Pila, if we can. The thing with the chariots is as soon as, you know, they get in amongst it, they do actually get shot down kind of alright. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, they're the only threat, really. The rest of the army is just pure trash. We'll listen to the general speech as well, see what he has to say. Oh, no, it's uh, no general speech. Because we have to deploy. Obviously, we're not going to deploy there. I'm thinking, if we can, let's lead the chariots around the... Uh, around the the city so they get shot so let's send a faction air out they're not faction air what's he called Nero Rex see whether the chariots are they just gonna run away are they going after are they joking like that's not even in the battle yet I should have left one of these uh, cavalry units out here honestly what are they doing? That's really annoying. It's going to take forever to get to them now. Unless they are just trying to escape. Why would you do this? We'll send an Equites around here as well. Probably one of the more damaged ones. Uh, 
yeah, cool. Play on three times, uh, six times speed for this battle at the minute. Because what's the point of playing on any anything else? God, I, why have they just, just gone? That's so annoying. Like, just, what, it doesn't matter where you stand to fight. You've not got a better position there, you absolute idiots. Just keep marching these guys around. Oh, that's the Equites. Um, and you come and join the Equites. Let's try and get in between these chariots here and see whether they'll chase us. Come on then. Because we could shoot a few. No, they're not they're not falling for it. Apparently. Oh, there we are. Come on then. Come on, they should be getting shot now. Hopefully. How are the chariots faster than us? We should be so much faster than them. Are they getting shot? Surely they must be. Oh, do we need oh, I've forgotten. Oh no, I was going to say, do we need people here? I was going to say, like, yeah, I think it's Medieval 2 where you need people next to the tower to shoot, uh, for the tower to shoot. Now, I want to move back over there to move the army. I just don't want to leave these guys right next to the chariots, because the chariots might, might charge us. Doesn't look like they are right now. Right, you come there, get the rest of these guys. Over here. Are they just going to stand there? That's fine by me. Let's just watch them slowly die. Their hit points, they have like five hit points though. That's the only problem. They are heavy cavalry against our light cavalry of Equites. Problem is this, uh, this tower is not firing at the same one every time. Like it's firing a different one so just oh come on then I mean if we take away this one single chariot unit from the battle it's actually kind of good see whether we can chase them uh, charge them from the back I doubt we will be able to make it honestly it's not even got rid of one <laughs> doing this so we really do need to hit them with the peeler Okay, that's a smaller one, but it's more experienced, so it's going to be a lot more powerful. Good job they don't have a general here, so if we kill that one single general, we should be okay. Don't like the phalanx. Problem is, our tried and true tactic of using the... Using the Principes and Hastati uh, to fix them isn't going to really work too well, because they're all phalanx units. So we need to deal with the chariots before anything else. I think we can cavalry swarm them, honestly. We might lose a few men. Chariots are good against... Uh, they are really good against the old uh, cavalry, but I think that's what we've got to do. All our infantry units are on fire at will now, so... All right, let's put it back up to speed. Um, and you guys. Oh, that's the edge of the map there as well. That's really punishing. Are they just going to corner camp? Looks like they are. Why do they keep moving? Like, just, just don't be horrid. Might have to run our troops at this at this point. Because they've got... Oh, now, no. They don't know what to do. I mean, if they're readjusting just because of these two cavalry units on this edge, then it's kind of dumb of them. If we can get against this, I don't know, we want open space so our cavalry can come in behind, really. So we kind of want to be like here, leaving gaps there and this side, but the, the edge of the map is very close. So even getting behind them, they're in a good position, honestly. Well done, AI. Did well. We do have a lot of cavalry though. So, 
I'm hoping we can absolutely smash them. Put back onto triple speed. I don't want to. I don't want to run my troops because they'll get tired, and if they get get tired against the the chariots, then they might just go. They might just die. They might just rout. So. Everyone get in position. Yep. Now we can run them once once we're close enough to the army to fix them. Let's run. Actually, don't want the cavalry to run because I don't want them to readjust to face the cavalry. I want them to be too worried about the uh, the infantry. They're all warmed up, which is good. Let's get closer. They might they might start advancing towards us when that happens, and we'll just fire up either at them. Yeah, they've got those two cavalry worried about that side. Halt. Desert Axemen are going to get shredded here, especially against Praetorians. Ah, they're bringing the cavalry in. The uh, chariots. You guys are all just get in the thick of it. I don't want to worry about having to fix that infantry phalanx. Are they going to run? Okay, cavalry swarm, that side. Right, you guys, get on these guys. You guys come through, kill those Nubian spearmen. We'll attack that chariot. Okay, please charge my Praetorians, because they are the most strong unit we have, and we can re retrain them. I want you to fire at these guys. Oh, cavalry swarm. We've hit a uh, phalanx. Oh, it's the desert axeman. That's good. Everyone get out, get out, get out before the phalanx kills us all. Oh my god, it's a mass route already. How are we doing against those chariots? Oh my days, look at this route. It's huge. You guys hit those chariots if you can. Are they running? I think they are running. go after them then. Okay, this unit's going to get shredded unless we come from behind here. They are running away. Looks like they're going. Don't know whether we'll catch them, but we could try. You two kill these chariots. Cool. So they broke really easily. I, I suppose that's probably from the fact they don't have a general. I think we should be quicker than those chariots, honestly. Charge these guys. They might bring down the pikes, but I'm sure they'll break as soon as we get even close to them, honestly. Um, right. You go them. 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 Those guys will break as soon as we get near them, I think. You hit them. You go after them. It is dangerous still charging these uh, phalanx units, but I'm sure they'll break as soon as we touch them, honestly. Like these Nile Spearmen. Yeah, they're broken already. So, yeah. Right, we need to continue. How many have we killed? The enemy's hearts are full of fear oh, come on, mouse. 83. Now, we're not going to lose this. Don't, don't fire, actually. Just charge. We're not going to not destroy this army because we missed out on like 2% again. We need to kill them all. <laughs> I'm not letting anyone go. Just pure slaughter. I mean, that was so much quicker than I thought. Like, they broke so easily. I thought they would be alright, but the, the chariots didn't seem to know what they were doing. So, it was alright. We lost our, our triarii. Wow, we had a load of them as well. I didn't even see how they got killed. Must have been the uh, chariots when we were chasing after the chariots. Oh, we needed someone to go. Oh, that's the our tree REI, isn't it? How many are we on now? You guys. Kill those four because that might be the difference. Oh, we're on 92 now, so it should be fine. Speed up. Cool. Nice. So they did kill 137. Let's have a look at the stats. Yeah, the Triarii got loads of casualties. The Hastati, 112. I assume that's from running them down, though. But yeah, cool. 
no ex uh, a couple of experience of the equites. It doesn't matter anymore though because we can't even retrain the equites. So I don't know. Victory! I assume that's enemy army routes. Nero Rex Superior Commander. Amazing. He's already good. And he's only 34. Which is pretty awesome. Now, we need some Praetorians and we need some Archers. However, hmm. Do we want to merge these? I don't think we want to merge any of these guys. Do we have... Yeah, we got loads. Let's go for these archers because we have no we have no missile troops in this army at all. Um, what are they on? Sixty percent there. I think we'll we'll keep on marching. Put the triarii in there as well, and I should have just got rid of got the general out. Uh, we'll get those Bedouin camels. Camels are horribly bad, but. <laughs> It just bolsters the cavalry force in this army. So, let's go for Memphis. We don't really have a, a unit I would want to put on the walls, though. Could have got those Libyan mercenaries for that. I'm hoping this guy will come and attack us. I think he's strong, because he's got spears against our cavalry. But I doubt he's going to do that. Now, as for these guys, uh, yep, yeah, I think we leave them. And then up in Spain. Yeah, that's fine. I do like these Spanish mercenaries, they're pretty good. Um, but as uh, as our troops get whittled down, uh, we'll, uh, we'll get them. We just don't want... The, the worst thing in the world is these spear, these spear auxiliary. Auxilia. They have a good defense and bonus fighting cavalry, but they're just so much worse than the early legionary cohorts. So, yeah. Right. Looks like everything, so let's end the turn, see what happens, see whether they attack us at this Is that at the bridge? I think it is. Oh, yes. This is going to be amazing. Mm, they do have the chariots again. <laughs> but as we've seen, they, they don't do too much unless you can, unless you let them. They do have a lot of missiles. Well, not a lot. They've got a few missiles, which we don't have. But I'm hoping this will be like a single river. If there's another river crossing, it might be a bit hard. But if it's just the bridge, it should be okay. Didn't say the balance of power was too bad, so with the bridge, I'm hoping we'll come out on top. Unless they smash us with their chariots. Let's Before hear the general speech. Comes again, this battle will be over. Whether the day goes well or ill is in our hands. The gods will favor those who help themselves, so take up your arms and prepare! The Pharaoh has sent his servants against us. Do not fear them, for they will be cut down by us, just like other men. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations? They will try to cross in force. This we cannot allow. They must fail. They outnumber us by a significant margin. But so what? One of them is worth less than the dirt beneath a toenail. Yet, for all that, one of you is worth more than any number of them. Skills, valor, and honor still count for something in war. They are lacking in spearmen. And this will work to the benefit of our large contingent of horsemen. The hair has been gutted, and the liver was as clear as day. Portents such as this can only be considered good. I want to see blood. I want to bathe in their Ooh, blood. blood. I want to bathe in their blood for a week. Now, kill them all. <laughs> cool. Lentilus Gracchus is an unreal commander for his age. Let's have a look. Are there any other river crossings? I mean, I would hate this if I was having to attack this, but... <laughs> I'll be glad if there's no other river crossings here. Defensively. That's why you never want to attack on bridge battles in this game. Uh, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't really look like it on the map either. Um, yeah. Let me just check because obviously... I mean, you would be able to see on the map. So that's amazing. That's what we want to see. Uh, how close do we want to get our... Infantry. I think we have like a few lines of infantry. 
all in a circle firing their peeler. Now, the horsemen can just wait here and be ready. Apart from the generals, we want them to offer encouragement, so they need to be near the front. We'll stick the three hoplites at the front. I know they're not going to do much, but they'll be fine. Uh, these guys can go to the side, so they're firing into the bridge, the mass on the bridge, as well as these guys at this side. These, um, are they Scythian horse archers? Scythian mercenaries, yep. Yeah. Um... Let's make sure this is organized properly. Um, and you guys, archers. Right, now we get the heavily armored units. I think we put the most damaged units at the front, because we can't even retrain them anyway. So you two, and then you on one flank, and then you two on another flank, and then the other three that we've got left, you will come in behind. Now make sure everyone is on fire at will, because I want you to fire all your peeler. Oh, it, it just chugged. It just chugged. A game from 2004 just chugged. You go right to the front. You two... Well, I mean, I want you to overlap, please. Go there. Probably should get closer to the bridge, honestly. And then the rest of them will have more chance to uh, throw their peeler. So you go here. You go like behind, I suppose. You go here. I don't even know what they're going to do with their archers, honestly, but should be okay. If we need to, we will charge in the cavalry. But. We shouldn't need to right now. If we stick all of these guys on guard mode as well. Are they the archers? No. Any of my archers? Oh, my Cretans are able to fire already. That's good. I suppose they're firing at these guys. Bowmen, yeah. That's fine. I'll be quite happy about that. I wonder... <sighs> Yeah, I think yeah, my com my computer can handle this second army coming in, so I guess that's why it chugged to start with. It doesn't seem to be chugging too much now. I'm hoping they send their infantry forward first. Those Hoplites are dead. What's uh, where are the Scythians? Yeah, you guys come forward a bit. I'm, I'm hoping you'll be able to shoot those bowmen. Do the Canterbarian circle if you can. Doesn't look like they've got the space. Yes, okay, that's good because now the uh, chariots will be stuck on a load of men, which is good. Good for us anyway. Firing the peeler. Oh, people getting knocked off by the chariots as well, which is awesome, <laughs> I think, let's have a look, lots of peeler being thrown now, which should kill a few of the chariots, okay, there's the chariots, if the chariots go berserk and go through them as well, that would be amazing for us, killing a lot of them, god, they are so strong though, that is the, that is the big issue, and have they got more in this army, I mean, they've only got uh, one more? Oh, that's alright then. Okay. Do I have a general? Is that a general's bodyguard? Yeah, Egyptian general's bodyguard. I thought some of the Egyptian generals have chariots. Oh, they've got two chariots. Great. Um, yeah, just keep the archers firing. Okay, they're charging back in with the, the rest of these guys. It'd be nice to have a Hoplites unit here because they would just shred everything. <laughs> everything going, but. They got chariot archers. That's why they're standing there with those chariots. The enemy general is running away. We need to go this berserk, really. It's just Nubian cavalry, but that's fine. For these guys, does anyone have any uh, peeler left? One person. These guys at the front. They have held very well, though. Those arrows and uh, everything is just going to pummel these guys. 
They, <laughs> they can't do anything because there's routing units and units coming forward. Need that second army to come in and, and mass route, really. Then we can go and mop up all the infantry. Oh, didn't mean to press pause, meant to press play. Yeah, they just don't, really don't know what to do on a bridge. Are these guys still firing? Looks like they are. Still got ammunition, which... Painful. Right, Cretans, we'll get you back, because you're actually quite valuable. You've got a lot of experience. Uh, we'll bring you forward. Now... Oh. Yeah, you can't really aim at anyone, so just keep firing into here, into this blob. They are whittling our troops down with their arrows, but honestly, we need to keep the troops there. Are they gonna? Are they running? Is that what they're doing? Are they trying to escape? No, it looks like they're forming up again for some reason. <laughs> Classic AI. Uh, they're bringing more bowmen to the front. Yeah, they, we're going to take a lot of losses from these bowmen. But it's got to be done. I mean, losing losing you, these units as well is not a huge, huge deal. I'd rather be using losing Hestati that, that aren't hugely experienced than my cavalry. So, okay. That's uh, one of our Hestati gone. I think we leave that flank like that just for now. Okay, is this the general's bodyguard? Yes, cavalry general. We need to kill this guy. Now we need to get. Now they're just going to be friendly firing, I think. So we need to get the prick phase in there. Um, Mr. General, come forwards. They're still. F they're frightened by chariots. Oh god, we might need to. We might need to bring the cavalry charge in. So you. Get against the uh, general, and we'll bring this guy because we've got another spare general nearby. They're not, you know, that's not going to make any difference. Yeah, he's going to get killed. I think. Need to probably get out of there. We'll disrupt the formation, but we've got to do it to get so he can die. Like, I'm, I'm fine throwing him in and him dying, but I don't want him to die for just no reason at all. Oh wow, look at all those Scythians dead now. Now I'm happy that they're focusing on the mercenaries rather than anything else. Like, if anything, stick these guys here so they'll focus on them. Yeah, the enemy general's routing again. I just want one of those cavalry, one of those uh, things to go uh, berserk. Good, enemy general dead. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our Wow, they have whittled down our troops a huge amount. Look at that. These guys need to be on, like, guard formation as well. God, they have whittled them down a lot. But we have been fighting a lot. How many have died? Like, it looks even, but I think the mass route will get going very soon. Very soon. Okay, you come here. You come here. You come here. Yeah, I'd rather them fire at them slingers than uh, at my actual units, so do that. Uh, these, cav these, uh, these cavalry should fall pretty quickly. They're pretty terrible. I'm hoping a mass route gets going now, because otherwise we're going to have to charge our cavalry across the river, which I don't want to do. Yeah, just keep firing. Uh, you guys face forward, so you've got your shields. I know they're tiny shields, but... Much no, much not, Jamet. Oltes. Oletes. Oh, those, their archers have been savage. If we had our other army that has a load of archers in, we would be winning the archer battle, probably, but that's why we need the archers, honestly. Okay, they're bringing the chariots across again. I think we need to get our. Oh my god, all our infantry is in. All our infantry is left. Alright, we need to bring our cavalry close then. Just in case. Because we are whittled down to the last few men now. We need to hope they get a mass route going. I mean, we should still win this by quite a way. It's 
just we won't have any infantry left. Please fire it at my uh, slingers rather than my Prinker Bays. Okay, the chariots are in now. We might have to. Uh... Okay, they are dying. Are they the chariot archers? No, they're the actual real chariots. Um, where's this guy? We're going to have to send him in again. And then we'll get the equites in if we absolutely need to. Yeah, we've got routing units. They have been incredibly brave. Prinker Bays, well done. Alright, get these guys in as well. So, it's all we've got left. I don't want to send uh, Gracchus in because he's unreal. Now we need to charge across the river if we can. Keep this going. We need to charge across the river. You go, go, go. And you as well. The chariot archers shouldn't be as heavily armoured or have as much hit points as well. Uh, all these guys should keep on routing, I'm hoping. So, yeah, we need to get this mass route going. Yep, yeah, let's get them. Hit those bowmen. Hit them, hit them, hit them. Yeah, they're gone. They're gone. They're all gone. They're all gone. Amazing. Uh, have we got anyone left apart from... Oh, my days. That was horrible. That was horrendous. Why are we dying? What? Who's, who's hitting us that's making us die? Look at them. Look at those camels. They're so slow. The, the infantry's faster than them. Oh, wow. Well done, Prinker Bays and Hastati. Look at the field of death. Jesus. Let's get them all lined up in front of the bodies. <laughs> Look at what you did. That was amazing. The bravery. Wow. That is horrendous. Now I'm hoping we can kill like all of them. <laughs> right. They're all knackered as well. They're all really tired. Quick. Um, quick, kill as many as you can. What's what's the 82? We need to get to 85. Get those, get those Bedouins. Quick, quick, quick. Kill them. If we get to 85, they should all die. I'm hoping anyway. Um, got anyone else? Yeah, you need to come and join the party. Can you get these guys? Those boatmen are faster than the camels. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> um, come down here. Get these peasants. Wow, that was close, honestly. Like, we literally just ran out of there. Uh, ran out of infantry, so we have no infantry left. Although they might, they'll be the first ones to get recovery. So we might have a couple of units, but it's going to be tough assaulting any city in this state. I think we need to meet up with our brethren at Tarsus, honestly. Um, yeah, how much are we on now? I think that's like everyone. 87, so I'm hoping that is those two armies dead. Luckily we have cavalry. Oh my days, look at that. They killed 600, we killed 2,300. Look at this, this equite, uh, that's equites. Uh, this Prinker base, lots of kills. Ooh, I mean, this is from the chase. Uh, Rhodian Slingers, 169. Cretian Archers, 65 Cretian Archers got 191 kills. That's pretty good. Uh, Scythian mercenaries, obviously, like, look at those Prinker Pays, 171, but they, like, they only have five men left. <laughs> They're so dead. I don't think, <sighs> I reckon we might get one or two units. Oh my days, no, not another one. Wow. I mean, they have doubled the men. Oh, they have got one unit of chariots. We still have some infantry left. I think we've got to fight this again. It's it's eight to seven, so we should win this. As long as they not they're not going to absolutely kill us with their missile units, I don't think they will. Like these skirmishers won't be able to get in position, and they've only got eighteen bowmen. It looks like Are they they're just normal Egyptian chariots. Well, I guess we'll fight this. Gracchus is a great commander. 
and after this battle he will be renowned in the history books for being the great Egyptian the slaughterer. Shield. Grasp the spear, sharpen the sword's edge. This is a day of destiny, and fate of many will be decided in this place. Those men are the servants of Pharaoh. They think themselves our equals, but I think they are dead meat. Yellow. The river must run red. They must not gain this shore if we are to win today. True. There are more of them than there are of us. So be it. We will fight like lions instead of men. Our horsemen are strong, but then so are the enemy spearmen today. A little care and judgment will be needed. I want to see blood. I want to bathe in their blood. I want to bathe in their blood for a week. Now, kill them all! I was going to say as well, if, if he's not already bloody, which he is, like, surely he will become bloody after this battle. These, these battles and the amount of people that have died. We haven't got any of those horse archers left. Uh, we need to keep our cavalry close this time in case their chariots break through. Uh, we'll put Cretians maybe here. Cretians have long range, so they should be able to outrange their bowmen. I think we'll stick these guys towards the front so that uh, they fire at them because I'm not too bothered by them. Um, right, what do we want to do? Princopes is the, the, the main line. These guys around the side. We'll keep this unit in reserve. And we'll stand a little bit back so that their bowmen can't kill us like straight away. I'm hoping anyway. Um, and then obviously all of you need, guys need to fire at will. And bring you slingers to the front. They should start firing at the hoplites first. Yeah, this has just got those 18 bowmen. Those uh, slingers, I don't think they'll be able to reach across. So we should be in a good position. And our Cretans are already firing, which is awesome. They're experienced as well, so I'm surprised they didn't get more experience after the last battle. Right, we'll spread all these guys out. We need a thick line, which we just 100% not going to have. Because the, the chariots tend to break through every single line. Okay, the slingers can reach from here. Well, slingers will do a lot of damage, honestly. So, it is a good job we're targeting them. Who are these guys firing at, though? Slingers, I, sp I suppose. They are getting s s savaged by our uh, by our bowmen, though. Yeah, they're getting absolutely ruined. I prefer you to fire into the old mass of men, though. Kill the Egyptian chariots if you can. <sighs> God, we just need to get a few hit points down on them before they get across here, because. Obviously, otherwise, we're screwed. Uh, bring the generals forward again. Offer encouragement, and the cavalry can get closer. Need to be firing Peeler. Everyone should be on guard mode as well. Okay, we've got the chariots down to half, which is good. Okay, slingers don't need to do that. They are firing at us now. Um, yeah, the chariots are down to like 14 men. See if they can kill that general while uh, he's running across open. I'm surprised the uh, the chariots haven't gone berserk yet. Although I don't know whether the Egyptian ones can. That might be the issue. Okay, we killed those guys. This general is going to shred us unless we get in there, so let's go. This guy's got a lot of experience as well because I've sent him into the battle so many times. So he should be quite tough compared to their general. Didn't think he had any experience. Right, you get in. 
Okay, he's running now. That should create a route, hopefully. Get our general out. Looks like they're ch uh, they're all their chariots are dead as well, which is amazing. Fire into this. No, no, don't walk there. Just fire into the blob, man. Okay, there's one. These guys, get rid of them. Don't want them behind my troops. Yeah, there we are. That, that charge sorted them out. That should be them all dead, I think. Uh, yeah. Is their general still going to rout? Yeah, good. My archers are firing into this blob. Oh, we're going to have to charge in again, I think. Otherwise, troops are deaded. God, this is brutal. So many armies, but I mean, if we've killed... We'll have a look at the stats after this battle and see uh, what that means for their sort of army, their, their military composition now. God, look at all these. There's no units left. Still got... They've still got bloody things to fire. Ooh, fire at the uh, general again. We can. Fire at the general. I'm hoping we can kill that general and then it'll just be a mass route from then on. Um, if we don't, we'll actually move back from the bridge once all our infantry is just spent. Uh, and we'll let all these phalanx units come across. God, fire that general, please. Really would like to kill him here and then it will just probably be a mass route. Yeah, no, it's not going to do that, is it? Right, Cretans, you get back then. Wait, actually, just stay there for one. You might be able to fire one more volley. I'm not sure. You guys all get back there. This one Hoplites is fighting them all off by himself. Amazing. Yeah, no, you can't fire anymore, so you get away. Come back up here, maybe? Actually... You can stand like here in case any of the guys try and try and escape down the river. Are they broken already? No, nah, they're eager. That's not good. We need to get that general across. Broken? They keep breaking. It would seem anyway. That general just needs to get across and we can charge him again. Right, let's move back with these guys. It looks like all our infantry is going to die a lonely death here. So we'll get back and then we'll uh, do the classic maneuvers. They're not going to be able to put down their phalanx, I don't think, here because their main part of the unit is over the other way. That should be them all dead. Now, nah, come back, come back. Don't need you in there. Five whole Prinker base holding the line. Amazing. Uh, that Egyptian cavalry general really needs to die. Get a bit of space around here. Oh, he's, he's, he's exposed. He's going after the Cretans. What an idiot. Oh no, maybe he's going for the back. Charging the back. Looks like he doesn't know what he's doing. If we kill him here, I think that's a mass route. Yeah, he's, he's, he's routing. Get him, get him, get him! Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too. How did you not catch him then? Why did they all stop? What idiots. They were charging him and then they all just stopped. That is ridiculous. Don't think we're going to catch him. He's warmed up, yeah. Stop stopping! Fucking hell. Fucking idiots. Oh, I know. We're going to chase him and then we're going to stop all the time. Right, let's these, let the, once, he, once he escapes anyway, it should be pretty easy. Um, these guys should want to mass route, basically from just touching them. They don't have good morale. So, yeah, they can set up their army all they want. I'm so upset about that general though, because we would have destroyed, we would destroy the army if that general was not escaping. But he's going to escape now, and the army's going to survive. Hurry, hurry, hurry. 
so that's pretty annoying. Right. Okay, they got slingers. We want to get rid of them. If we can, safely. I don't think we're going to be able to safely. Cretans, come and join the party, I suppose. You guys get there. Yeah, I want you to, like, hold them while we charge them in the back. Yeah, they don't really know what they're doing right now. They might even route from overwhelming force. Absurd because General has fled. Yeah, that's good. See, someone's just routing. Like, they're already routing just from overwhelming force. That should make them route that charge in the back. Okay, the Nubian, those, those spearmen, the desert spearmen are actually alright. Should get be able to get a mass route going here. Yeah. Yeah, there we are. Those Nubian spearmen, oof. Taking a few losses there, but it's worth it for the mass route. charge these guys and then we should be able to clean up the rest of the army. Just so annoyed that, that the uh, general managed to escape because they, they stopped midway through the charge. Right, kill these guys. We need to chase these guys first and foremost. Continue. Right, what are you doing? You need to be mopping up any of these guys that are left over. Cool. So, we have killed a lot, and we might even need to go back to Tarsus to retrain, I don't, I don't know, I don't think we're going to be able to keep marching. I mean, it depends how much cavalry we have, honestly. Kill that one guy, please. No. I guess because you're not targeting. Targeting them. Uh, hello. Kill these guys, please, before they escape. Go, go, go. So it seems best to just not <laughs> tell them to do new orders, otherwise they'll, they'll they'll do something stupid like that. Like, stop. We can probably catch them, but we'll send the cavalry anyway. I mean, we've destroyed three Egyptian armies. That must be, you know, that's pretty good. How much of that has been killed? Like, most of them should be dead apart from the, the general. Like, nearly all of them. Maybe the one chariot got survived or something? <sighs> Tough. Astarte lost. Lost experience there. It's because they're dead completely. Yeah, this. Anyone healed? Not much. Some, though. Wow, a lot of. Uh, Wow, the Cretans inflicted even more casualties than last time. It's crazy. They are so strong. Victory! Please don't attack me again. <laughs> don't think I can take another attack there. Now the Seleucids, are they going to come out and attack? No. No, you're 44. No chance I'm accepting you. Surely he's got some traits. Lentilus Victor, he's called now. That's cool, though. Mm, like, I just don't think we can forge on. Let's just see, is there any... No, there's no people in there. No mercenaries. No mercenaries in there, either. I don't know. Where's that spy? What's it like up here? Okay, there's no one in there apart from some chariots. I honestly think we'd be alright going there. Can we get any... Oh, there's no mercenaries. I was hoping we can go get some mercenaries. You know, honestly, if this becomes a problem, we can try and escape to Hatra. Let's not recruit that anymore. Let's get some auxilia. Uh, I know I said they're trash, but we need some infantry to bolster this this unit right here. All right, city expands Corinth. Cool. Stick that there. Um, city expands Sparta. Cool. Um, and then obviously the construction, recruitment, yeah, we're recruiting ships now as well. Namidia and SPQR, that's fine. Still making a lot of money. 
But yeah, I think that's it for this episode, guys. We'll do all the construction in the next episode, and we'll attack Tarsus, and we'll attack Memphis. And then we should be good. Uh, this army is just so battered now, it's, it's kind of scary, scarily broken. But, ah, there was, there was, there was uh, mercenaries. I don't know why it didn't show mercenaries, but we need them. They're, they're trash, but we need them. Like, at least we get some archers, which can do some damage. I mean, the Arab cavalry is okay. Bedouin warriors, warriors are pure trash, because camels are just so slow. But, <laughs> we might as well uh, might as well leave it. Also, this is their furthest eastern province, so we the only way we can go from there is west. We do need some, uh, <laughs> some reinforcements over here, though. So, let's keep on recruiting auxilia from there. I mean, it's a large town, so we might be able to recruit early legionary cohorts. I don't think so, that's just a militia barracks. So we really need either reinforcements from Amulius, or we need reinforcements um, from Rome. So, hmm, actually might need to send this army across. But, I don't know. Well, that's for next episode, guys. So, thank you very much for watching anyway. Um, and I will see you again, hopefully, on the next video video.